Typical city living often disconnects us from nature, from the forests, from the trees, the sound of birds. So welcoming nature back by creating more and more green spaces can actually allow man and nature to reconnect. We ask ourselves, can city living and nature coexist? It can, but with the right development policies, the right strategies, and good township planning. Biodiversity in urban spaces is often overlooked, as cityscapes are often more grey than green. Remnant forest patches, restored ecosystems, and well-managed green spaces have all become a critical refuge for urban biodiversity. We need to future-proof our cities by careful city planning and incorporating biodiversity into our urban spaces. Only then will we have more healthy, resilient, and livable cities. The city of Almina was designed to be an extension of the forest located next to it. This fosters wellness and livability. And we also ask ourselves what we can do more to conserve and restore nature for the benefit of future generations. In Almina, we minimized topography changes, widened the rivers, planted native forest species, and endangered rare and threatened trees, all in our central park. We are very passionate about green living. What started off as a mindset within Sainabi property has now been extended to our consultants, our contractors, and our stakeholders. We believe in multiplying values, and we hope that our efforts are translated into creating a greener future. We also want our residents to be part of this culture and make them part of our team. It is very important for the society at large to be environmentally conscious, and the ERKC is actually one of the solutions to this. It creates that awareness. It's a knowledge centre and a hub for public to learn about our rich natural heritage that we have here in Elmina. At the centre, we at TRCRC carry out various different programmes and engagements for people from all age groups, backgrounds and organisations across different sectors in order to improve environmental literacy and encourage conservation action. We also run the Elmina Living Collection Nursery as part of the Knowledge Centre. This is where we grow and nurture a variety of endangered trees. The trees that we grow here will serve as a seed and gene bank for the increasing demand for future ecosystem and habitat restoration. Because the main constraint of most restoration projects is the limited supply of seed stock in both quality and quantity. We focus on the tall and majestic diptrocarp trees. These trees are the best known in the tropical rainforest due to its highly prized timber. The family of diptrocarp trees are a keystone species of the Malaysian tropics that is essential to the rainforest ecological function, interactions and structure. Forest restoration is an opportunity for biodiversity recovery and species conservation. And we all have our part to play, as it will require a lot of effort to bring nature back into the heart of our cities. Growing tomorrow's forest starts today, because if it's not now, then it will be too late. If it's not us, then who will do it? It starts with a community that has the right mindset. Through the city of Elmina, with all our sustainability efforts, I hope that it can create a domino effect for others to follow, in hopes that our future generation can have a greener planet. <laughs>